everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're fans of games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Warhammer Invasion the card game from Fantasy Flight Games and as I've just noticed and I did not know before now do you guys see this? It's a game by Eric M. Lang. I did not know that. So this game was gifted to me um, so it's second hand I know absolutely nothing about it or what's inside it. So I thought maybe we could go delve in together and see what's inside. Um, not sure how entertaining it's going to be, but sure, you never know. But so what I know about this game so far is it says, it says in the box, it's a card game. Um, it's made by Mr. Lang. So, you know, if he can make Blood Rage and Rising Sun, maybe this is great. Who knows? Um, so it's a game of kingdoms, quests and epic battles for two players. So two players only. Does it tell us how long it might take on the box? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this game's pretty old. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's see what's inside. Actually, we always start feel the box. This is a really nice box. This is one of those kind of textured boxes. Um, I'm trying to think of a very similar example, but I can't right now. But it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice feeling box. Although this one has seen better days, but I don't care about the quality of your box. I care about the quality of what's inside it. Okay, so first thing we get inside the Warhammer Invasion box um, is. Ooh, he've, yeah, it is indeed the rule book. Okay, that's cool. So rules of play. Um, why do some people say rules of play and some people say rule book? I don't know. Is there a difference? Um, what's it made of? Ooh, it's nice. It's very luxe. I have a feeling it's going to be shiny on the cardboard. Okay, so it's got an introduction. Um, so there's a story. Um, it's a living card game. So in the game, you're getting some boards some tokens and a lot of cards. Um, so the game overview, that's good. I like that this is here early. Um, so Warhammer is played in three zones. Ooh. Okay, the first player to burn two of the three sections of his opponent's capital wins the game. That sounds a little bit like old school L5R to me, where you want to take out people's strongholds. Okay, so there are races to play. That's cool. Um, so they're very standard Warhammer races. All fine. Um, what happens with golden rule? If the rules of a text contradicts this, yeah, the rules of the card happens. Running out of cards, fair enough. Um, I assume this rule book is going to be a big pile of crap because it's trying to explain a card game. And card games are notoriously hard, I think, to write down about succinctly. They're the kind of things you need to watch somebody else play. Um, no, doesn't mean I definitely won't try. It's going through the anatomy of the card and that, but I mean, it's going to have to do a hell of a lot of explaining um, to get you on to understand all the interactions between the cards. Um, so videos are usually much better for that. So for the first game, it has a special setup and stuff like that, and it's going through it bit by bit, but most of this rule book is going to have to be taken up with all this and all the corner cases, so you can see like all the steps, getting into the wall of text. Um, it's making an effort though to break it up, I'll give it that. So you've got like turn sequence, um, all in bold and certain things. Um, like these and boxes, big headings, all those help. But I just think learning card games is one you really need to have almost, uh, you know, to have somebody show you. So where are we? Oh, there's a deck building bit. You can build your own deck. Okay, it's a living card game, I believe, isn't it? it says that card game. No LCG on the outside, so it is a living card game and you could get more for it. No, CCG is collectible card game. Living card game means this is all of the cards. Yes, yes it does. So, and then there's the credits for Games Workshop, big ad, and what's on the back of the rule book? An ad! That's very FFG, I think. <laughs> More ads. Okay, so what's actually in here? Well, fair juice to my previous owner, <laughs> who went to the bank for his baggies. Well done. I think that's quite epic. Um, so we'll see what's inside. Oh my god, do you remember? I haven't like used these bank bags in forever. Ooh, I hope they come out. Oh my gosh, maybe they won't. Oh. oh, we're getting closer. Or have I just undone what I did? I think I may have just undone it. Then where is the rest of the plastic? Ah, there we go. See, I haven't had money in a long time. God knows what it looks like in bags. Okay, so first things first, cards. Thin, but they feel nice. They're not too bad. Um, let's have a look at the artwork and stuff of that box. Clearly there's no point in me talking about the abilities on the cards because God knows what that means. So these are all kind of chaos-y stuff. 
Oh, the artwork there is really, really pretty. So this is obviously all based on War, the Warhammer world and the setting. So if you like those, you're probably going to like that, like this. Warp stone, stuff like that. So yeah, the, card, the cards are very nice. Well, yeah, they really are very nice. I'm very curious to see how it plays. Because obviously you can build your own, you build your own decks. And you play against each other. I have a feeling they aren't still making this. <laughs> so I don't actually know what I have in here. Um, I'm pretty sure there are some expansions. Like, look at the back, actually. The back's really pretty. Um, mostly because there is unopened expansions still inside here. Thank you, previous owner. Oh, this one opened sideways. Um, have any of you when these are even from? Like, is there a date on them? Nope. Apparently they don't go out of date. <laughs> But, okay, so we'll put this over there, we'll put this one back in here somehow. These are very tight. <laughs> These money bags are a tight fit, but I guess cards do equal money. Okay, so, that's what we got. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth my while to actually, you know, show you every single card in the game. I don't think it is, because I think they're all of the same quality, right? So, I have, like, a lot of cards, though. So, if I was to lay out all these over here. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. So these seven bags of cards in here. And then we've got some tokens. So we'll, we will do the token test. See what the quality of the token is. I think the fun in this game here is not in me unboxing it. It's in you rooting through the cards yourself, finding cool combos and you know ways to make them. Um, and building decks. This is really nice cardboard. It's the really, really chunky thick stuff. Um, and it's, it's really, really nice. They're really nice tokens. And there's still something here in the bottom though. Look at that. It looks like um, kegs of gold. That must be gems. And then in the very bottom of the box. This thing even being on sale. There are, there are player, there are boards. I don't know what you do with these. King, kingdom, quest. Oh, we must have one each. Are they all the same? No, there's a battlefield. But yeah, we do. There's one for each colour. So maybe you can play it with more than two players. Don't know why I thought two, but um, so you can see the colours. And then, so gain one resource per power here. Draw one card per power here. And then units may, here may attack. So obviously it's where you locate your cards, how they get to, to work and stuff. Actually, it's been a long time since I've played a good card game. There's been a bunch recommended to me lately. But I don't want to, you know, get into something that, you know, will you continue to spend more money on, like, you know, Keyforge, perhaps. Um, some of the Arkham, Arkham games sound interesting, too, the card games, the LCG. Yet again, LCG is just a tough one. I might give this a go, I think. I'd say myself and my husband will give it a try. Um, we're a big fan of card games. Um, so if you, you know, if you played this before, you tried it out, what's it like? Um, I'm curious to know more. I'll probably let you guys know more as I know more. Um, I'm surprised at the amount of stuff that was in the box, actually. Because, um, you know, like it's like this huge box. I was like, how many cards are you going to even fit into this thing? What am I doing? I'm doing it backwards, I believe is the phrase. Lie down. There we go. I've got far enough to get the rule book on. <laughs> so, that was Warhammer Invasion, the card game. And it does say for two players. Yeah. So why is there four things? I don't know, maybe you can team up and, and do it in teams. Um, so yeah, that, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I'll be here until next time and maybe we'll unbox something else together again. Take care. Bye-bye.